Uh, today's episode of Pots Get Outdoors came in a place we've wanted to fish a very, very long time. This is Paint Creek, and it's hit heavily by people from the Charleston and Beckley areas, as well as people from Ohio and Kentucky. It is a super well-known stream, partially because it is stocked over a 20-mile section, a lot of which is right along I-77. It's one of the most accessible places in the southern part of the state, and it's stocked with a tune of roughly 5,000 trout. Woohoo! There we are, first cast. My favorite bait, Happy the looks. Mm. There's one. Oh, yeah. Nice rainbow. Nice rainbow. Yeah. Getting started here this morning and didn't have a net in place. Good put, okay, thank we're you. gonna put the double in there, Mike. The in, woo, woo. Look at that! Nice. You know, we we travel all over North America, and those are just two average stalkers. But average in West Virginia is not the same as average in other states. Okay, those are two 14-inch fish, really nice fish. You guys don't know what you have here in West Virginia. A lot of states, we get excited about eight, nine inch fish. So well done to the state of West Virginia. What a beautiful resource. It's amazing. <laughs> Look at the stripe on that one. Yes. Nice bright red fish. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Look at that, how pretty. Nice, really nice, pretty fish. Let's stay right there, buddy. Really nice, pretty fish. How you doing, guys? You've seen us catch a lot of fish today. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing. I got some garlic salmon egg here. I'm a, with a size 14 Popsky fire hook. Take a little bit of this, put that on the hook, and just ball it up. He's gonna show you exactly how he's fishing this as well. So that's garlic salmon egg, he's gonna roll it up. And remember, he's using a float. He's using a float because he can have that bait just glide through the water without getting it snagged on the bottom. Reduces snags. So there's his little ball. And look how his float is, or look how his sinkers are set up. Got a split shot right above it, so it sinks. Couple Another more. one there, and then there's his Down fire float. The so watch this, go ahead, Mike. Remember, fire bait, like any good dough bait, floats, all right? He has to use sinkers to get it down. So keep an eye on that fire float right there. Notice the top is colored, the bottom is black. We don't want to spook the fish, that's why we designed this different than some of the other ones that are out there. It's down, good to that. Guys, any questions? Any questions? Really nice rainbow. Really nice rainbow. That shows you why Big Mike loves garlic salmon egg. You know, yeah, I was a little worried because he hasn't been having to practice with the net like he has been lately. He's been catching so many fish. But look at that, guys. Average stalker. Garlic salmon egg fire bait works every time works when fish great. properly. Yes, it is. All you gotta do is put it under a fluke, put a weight down close to it to get it to sink, and let her go. Me yellow jackets are on fire today, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't catch nothing yesterday, but I'm making up for it today. Let's make up the day before too, Pat. <laughs> In the net. Look at that. So Pat has chose dinner the last two nights. And it, we stayed in Beckley, and let's just say, we won't be going back. Tonight, it doesn't matter how big of a fish he's catching, it's gonna be his birthday. Those of you that don't know Pat, he loves attention. If it's his birthday every day, he's happy. And guess what? We got another double. Not like the last one, though. Hey, the one that I lost, <laughs> but this will work. Now here's what's incredible. That is an average stock trout here on Paint Creek. Pretty much what we've been catching everywhere. 
that's him. And you know what? It's a heck of a nice fish. Beautiful rainbow. They ain't the one I lost, but I'm gonna get him again. <laughs> Double. Oh, oh we got a jumper over there. Yeah. Another double. There's one. There's one. There's one. And there's two. Here we are in West Virginia. We're just on fire today. We got like five trout in a matter of five minutes. So you see me today catch a lot of fish here in uh, West Virginia. I want to show you what I'm using today. I went back to my famous yellow jackets. Best on the market. So here's what all I'm doing. Just taking one out, covering my hook. Let's see if we can get some bobber down action. They work down, Mike. This boy is on fire. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby. Check that out, another one. Oh, except, except you missed the net. Missed the net. <laughs> Ooh, twice, twice. Out. Third time's a charm. He's in the net. Hey, let me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Pat's not good with the net. You wanna know why? Because he only uses the net when we're with him. Otherwise, he West Virginia styles, pulls it right out. And guess what? The twins, is it a good one? It's, they're all uh, good ones. What's up? Oh, he's trying to get under that rock. Look here. Oh, yeah, but we got him. We got him right here. Let me grab my net right behind you. Let's see if I can net this thing better than my brother without a kick off. Pat likes that West Virginia style. Of art. And he's in the net, baby. He's in. The oh, and he dropped the trout. All right. Pat said he's got a good one on. We just ran down about 50 yards from way up there. Where is it, Pat? It's out there. Oh, God. That is a big one. Did you see a flash? Woo! Here, yeah, give Mike that net. Holy! Careful, he's gonna he's gonna run again. Look at the size of that fish. I'm reeling, Mike. Look at the size. You know what? Every time you don't wear that tooth, the luck the luck gets good. Oh my Mike. God! Look at that. That looks like a steelhead, Pat. I'm telling you. Are we in West Virginia? Or are we in New York? Look at this fish. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Look at that! Pat! Oh, oh no! Hold on, hold on. Oh no! Right oh no! Hold on. It doesn't fit in the net! Oh, get him, get him, get him! Oh, go, 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 go! Where are you going? Right here! <laughs> Wait till mama sees this! You know, down here on Paint Creek, catching some beautiful rainbows, and look at this one I caught. It is huge! Okay, today you'd see me catch a lot of fish. I was using these peach fire uh, eggs. Can't beat them. I mean, I have crushed trout, crushed trout. So I'm gonna show you today what I'm doing. I'm just taking one off. It's real simple. Put your egg through the middle. Bring it all the way up to the eyelet. And there you go. Oh my gosh, this is number two today. He's out right out there. I don't know if I'm gonna get this in. He's a fight. Yes, you are. Take your I'm time. I'm trying. Got to believe. Look at that reel go. But ain't it ain't the one. Really nice, chrome looking fish, Pat. Number two, baby, in the net. <laughs> look what I caught it on, Chris. No, no tooth. No, no tooth. But look what's oh, up. Oh my God. God. That's yep. the new fire egg, baby. That's your favorite The new color. fire egg. That's my favorite collar. Peach garlic, baby. <laughs> oh. You know, the bite slowed down today. Had to whip out my favorite peach garlic fire egg. Look what I got here, Mom. Look at that. So if you see in his mouth, I switched from a peach fire egg to a fire worm in the net. Peach is the color today, huh? Yeah, yeah. for me Come it on, is. Buddy, turn yourself around so we can see you. Show yourself, buddy. Look, there you go. Right in the mouth. Now, most of those trout are gonna be rainbows, although we are told they sometimes stock goldens in here as well. Uh, we personally didn't see any on this day, but as you can see from this footage right here, yeah, we picked in one of those days where the stream was high, it was off colored, and we were right after a couple of really big rainstorms. Really, the entire week we were here, it rained like crazy. Now, this was an interesting day for us as well. We had a lot of people come up with us, come up to us today, and said, "Hey, are you guys the film crew?" 
And we said, what do you mean the film crew? Oh, well, we heard Governor Justice asked you guys to come out here and promote our beautiful resources. And that rumor has been going around town. And we looked at him and we said, hey, maybe the governor did want us to do that. But you know what? The governor is right about one thing. The West Virginia DNR does a heck of a job stocking this system. What we mean by that is stocking taste plates from the town of Pax downstream for roughly 20 miles. They stop at every bridge from the town of Pax all the way down through a place like Paint Creek Park and any roadside accessible area. If you can see a place to pull your car over, there's a chance that stocking truck does it. Now, the other thing we learned really quickly today about Paint Creek, they don't stock dinks here. Look at the average size trout. The average size trout we caught here today was probably 13 to 14 inches. We caught many 16 inch fish. We even caught fish up to five pounds, all right? We didn't have to leave this probably 40 yard stretch. There were that many fish in here. We think that what happened was high water came up and because we were in such a big hole, the fish stayed there. Now we talked to a lot of people above and below us that really did well, just like we did. Now, Paint Creek, is roughly 42 miles long. It's a place that's very well known. It's no secret to anybody. And it's a place that made us work harder than we wanted to today to at least find the fish. Now, it didn't take us long to catch them. Brother Mike used Orange Deluxe exclusively and caught a ton of fish, and Big Mike used Garlic Salmon Egg Fire Bait. Now, DJ Pat, he's always been a big fan of Yellow Jackets. That held true today, however, after these guys went on a fishing spree and literally caught doubles and triples, as you see here, the bite kind of slowed down a little bit. When it did, Pat said, it's time for my secret weapon, boys. He pulled out the peach fire worm and the peach fire egg. And we caught plenty of fish on those as well. Now, if you're going to come here to Paint Creek, don't be afraid to spread out. There is a lot of accessible places, some amazing holes. We just hope you have the opportunity to fish the creek when it's a little bit clearer so you can see some of the monsters that they stock in here. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're gonna show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.